What's up, you guys? So this video is all about a day in the life of them fit workouts. So I'm gonna take you guys through a workout of the day that I do, as well as you guys that are gonna sign up for the let me start all over again. Clearly my pre-workout is already kicking in, but you guys, so carb cycling challenge starts January 3rd, and one of my workouts that I'm showing you guys today is what you will be receiving for free. We all like things for free. But um, anyways, so if you guys wanna see what I do in the gym, keep following this video. Or actually, keep watching, not following. But before we even get into that, Talk about the O, O, T, D. Isn't that what the kids are saying these days? But here we go. Of course I'm in purple, right? I love this because it's long sleeve, high waisted, and quick drying, which we love. Let's go do this. I'm already, you know, getting in this pre-workout. I actually, I love rain just because you can pop it open and you're one and done. I used to have pre-workout where you actually have to scoop whole cup the whole process so the fact that this is just like a nice little can see what i mean i'm already bouncing up off the wall my pre-workout is kicking in so let's do this okay guys so in particular this workout of the day it might seem overwhelming section a but it's not i'm gonna explain it right now so it's 25 minutes of solid work broken up into five five minute sections so basically you guys are going to be doing three exercises but five rounds. So what that means is this. You're gonna complete these three exercises, hopefully under five minutes. But if you do not, which the majority of us will not finish these movements within those five minutes, you stop exactly where you're at and you start your next round of five minutes completely fresh at the very top of the workout. So you start with that first movement. So let's go and get this work in. Okay guys, so we have three movements to get done within our first section of the workout of the day. So this first one is a 400 meter run, you guys. This is one lap around a track and it is a quarter of a mile. So this is not a full out sprint, but you're definitely moving because the goal is to have a little bit of a breather by the end, but you obviously go at your pace. But I'm cooking. I'm moving at a 9.1 right now. And like I say, you guys, like I always, always, always have a pre-workout just because I feel like it helps me just get things going. And for me, I bring it into my garage because that's where I work out. Hence why I have a little sippy sip before I even start my workout. Okay, boom, 400 meters, we're done into the next one immediately because we're racing a clock. The whole point of this, you guys, we wanna jack our heart rate. We're burning fat and calories at the same time. Hence why it's a consecutive work. All right, so keep that in mind. You are moving. Now we're doing sit-ups. If you guys don't have an ab mat, that's okay. Just do a regular sit-up, knock out those 20. Boom. I like to go all the way back, touch um, the ground, and then come up so I kind of go over my knees. And remember to breathe out. Like I felt like that's always been a really good little uh, NEM tip of mine is when you're doing a sit-up and suck those abs in. So I know it sounds crazy. Bring your um, belly button like to the floor. So when you blow, it's kind of like you're contracting your tummy inward so that you don't want to have a big balloon tum like It's not what it's called, baby, a balloon, like not a balloon tummy, but anyways. So from your sit-ups, boom, hand release push-ups. I love hand release push-ups because it, you, I squeeze my booty cheeks too when I come up. So make sure that you guys raise your hands so you like, I don't know, like ear level. I like to raise the back of my feet as well. So you start with a regular normal down push-up position and then you come up and when you go back down, you just kind of raise your hands and then you go again, bang out 10 of those. Easy breezy. Section A, boom, done. Section B, now we got 200 air squats. Your goal time is to finish it in seven minutes. It sounds super easy, but it's not, especially coming off the 25 minutes of solid work that we just did in section A. And I love air squats just because it's all body weight. So you guys make sure your form though is on point because we wanna avoid any types of injury. That's why body weight is amazing as well. And, and keeping everything tight, keeping your hamstrings tight, keeping your booty cheeks tight um, as you're coming up. 
So you don't want to go quickly through the movements of an air squat because then you're not really engaging all of your muscles. So when you guys are doing those 200, yeah, of course you're moving because you want your heart rate up, but make sure you're contracting your glutes, contracting your hamstrings, contracting your quads as well and keeping that stomach super sucked in and your core engaged also. That is like a major NEM tip of mine, I have to say. I just feel like not only is the form your form going to be way better, but it prevents injury and at the same time, you're kind of getting the best of both worlds because you're getting an ab workout as well. Last section of the day is 50 unbroken kettlebell swings. You guys have seen me rock these out on NEMFIT's IG as well as my own personal one. I love kettlebell swings because it is a full body workout. So bang out 50 and I'm using the weight. I do 35 pounds. That's what my kettlebell is just because that's the only one that my husband got me because he said basically um, I'm not getting you anything lighter than this. Huh, Jonathan? Yeah. <laughs> the goal is to do 50 unbroken but if you guys have to take a break and do them broken up do as many as you can your first go around so if you can only do 10 then take a break do 10 but make sure you guys complete the 50. you guys when you're doing kettlebell swings make sure you're only coming like this to shoulder or eye level and remember it's a hinge movement so you're like Thrust in the air. That way, everything is engaged, everything sucked in, everything is tight. Thrust the air. But you guys, that's it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the workout of the day. Like I said at the very beginning, this is part of my NEMFIT daily WOD section where you guys will be getting full free when you sign up for the Carb Cycling Challenge that starts January 3rd. Of course, I will put all of the links below. Time to make that change. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.